Master here checking in once again on this uh, February 26, 2021, 1.15 p.m. with a uh, kind of a small earthquake in the Southern California region. This is coming off of a 3.2 quake in the Simi Valley area of Southern California, north of Los Angeles. That 3.2 striking around the Simi Valley uh, Santa Rosa fault system there. Kind of a small fault area that kind of dips to the north and uh, could produce potentially a thrust type fault. Not a big one, but ultimately, depending on how much pressure is applied out there, uh, we could see some larger movement. Uh, quite a few folks did report filling that earthquake out there around the Simi Valley area and also areas uh, around the region. There is the uh, did you fill it responses right there from the folks. Let me zoom down here a little bit. Simi Valley area, West Hills, uh, Canoga Park region, also Chatsworth reported filling that. Thousand Oaks area as well. 14, uh, at least 14 responses there. So let, let me know if you did happen to fill that uh, quake out there. Kind of interested to see what it may have felt like. You know, any type of uh, uh, information, of course, is valuable here to the channel. Uh, and the Simi, Simi Valley fault system there is pretty, uh, I guess they've known about it for quite a while. A couple articles there from the... Uh, uh, LA Times there indicating that geologists back in 1997 say the Simi Valley Fault may be active. Well, that's about kind of where this earthquake struck within that vicinity of the Simi Valley area or the Simi Valley Fault System, which is this red line here. Uh, well, okay, so it's called the Simi Santa Rosa Fault Zone um, along the Simi Fault right there in that red line. So about oh i don't know we're looking at maybe about a mile off of that um, underneath this specifically of course you got some population densities out there residential area no fault systems right around here at least that the usgs is reporting but close enough to the Simi valley fault area uh, that we can pretty much call that uh, on that one so just a heads up folks you know be uh, be on guard this this one here kind of dips to the north of course, you got lots of left to right, or, or I should say northwest to southeast type fault structures out there. And of course, thrust faults all over the place. California, Southern California is a highly dynamic area when it comes to fault systems. And, uh, you know, it's just a bunched up, uh, uh, bunched up land, you know. You got the major North American plate and the Pacific plate to the west, uh, creating that uh, highly uh, dynamic area out there of thrusts and um and other fault systems out there so just be on guard folks uh, a lot of uh, earthquake activity since that deep earthquake out there in south america we kind of predicted that uh, we would see a, a major ramp up over here to the western part and we have no major quakes out here to report but definitely a large increase in earthquake activity compared to last night in the western pacific out here quite a few fours even a couple fives out there around around the uh uh, Micronesia area it looks like of course in a very seismically hazard area as well so no surprise anyway folks stay safe out there uh, looks like we got Oklahoma rocking and rolling today in the earthquake department 2.5 being the largest or not largest but the most recent quake down there it looks like around Paul's Valley uh, Ardmore okay right around the Ardmore area uh, north of there all right, guys, we'll be back a little bit later. Just want to do a quick update on that small little earthquake. Like I said, anytime we see uh, any uh, earthquake activity uh, in a highly populated region, I kind of like to do a, just a quick update and see if I can get some uh, responses from folks in regards to what they may have felt um, if they were in this area. So have a good day. We'll be back a little bit later on this evening. Stay safe out there.